Here's a great Chinese New Year themed STEM project for your elementary students. Print your templates from Freedux Design and start with a read aloud. Either Maisie's or Ruby's Chinese New Year is our favorite. Download and print the free template. Gather your cardboard, hole puncher, scissors, glue stick, metal paper fasteners, and of course your Freedux connectors. Using a combination of fixed and moving pivots, students can make a dancing dragon. Start by cutting out the templates, including the scaled body and the dragon head, using either Redux Design cardboard pieces or your own cardboard shapes with holes in them. Um, attach the skin and the head to different pieces of cardboard. Each place students want a moving joint, the pivot should be connecting to different pieces of cardboard. There's really no right way to assemble it, and students should have the freedom to design their dragon however they want, as long as they're including fixed and moving pivots. In order to make the dragon dance without using hands, students will need to attach a stick somewhere along the length of the dragon. We are attaching a ruler, which already has holes in it, um, onto one of, the fix, uh, one of the moving pivot points to allow us to move the dragon from a distance. Students can use the three ducts design connectors to create a fixed point on two different sides of their dragon. When it's all assembled, students can play by making their dragons dance. In the first example, we attached our dragon to a box. Now we're using two-sided sticky tape and interconnected three ducts design connectors as another way of creating a fixed joint. To add a little technology to this project, video your dragon dancing on a green background and import it into iMovie and use green screen effect to create really cool techniques. We took a screenshot of a festive Chinese festival and incorporated our dragon into the scene. Once students get the hang of using green screen in iMovie, there's almost nothing they can't incorporate into their project. Well, that's it for the tutorial. Hope your students have a blast and don't forget to send us photos of your student projects.